Hey guys, I'm LB, and as you can tell from Rectorox's custom loading screen, we are playing Antiles by Rectorox. And we will read the description just as soon as the map loads. I just wanted to show the cool loading screen, because I like that one. Wow, that was a giant screen shake! Well, let's check out the description. Antiles is a Wheatley-themed, easy-medium-difficulty bridge, laser, and funnel puzzle. Optional quest, break Wheatley's monitor. Alright, well, I just played a Wheatley-themed map yesterday. That did not go too well. Yes, indeed. Let's see what we're in for. Was, was self-destructing, already fixed. Programmed in one last tremor, for all time's sake. Two, I have one or two more tremors in there, just for fun. Morning. Core overheating. I let him keep his job, I'm not a monster. Ignore what he's saying, though, just keep on testing. <laughs> I like that part of the game. Right. And we don't- I'm- I'm so used to having a mono portal gun at this point that <laughs> I completely forgot I can just portal wherever I want. I was like, where's the mono portal at? <laughs> I don't need a mono portal. I've got a dual portal device. Like I should have at this point in the game. Right, what do we got over here? This reverses the funnel. Interesting. Got a sparking dropper here. Checkpoint! Cool. What does this do? Uh... Indeed. Why would I want this? I'm not clear on the concept. Oh, there's a light bridge here! I did not- did not even see this! Well, that makes a world more of sense. So when this light bridge is on, we'll probably also be able to point a laser at Wheatley, perhaps. I'll keep that in mind, I suppose. So, I might as well just put that on there for now, right? Can't hurt. Right, but... nothing I can do here right now. Wonder what this is about. Of course, I could just portal over there, and keep my portals. Like a normal person would, right? Because why wouldn't a normal person do that? Ah, I see. Uh... Excuse me, I do believe that this is... ...just slightly not aligned with anything even remotely sensical. So there's that. Maybe we can't so easily burn Wheatley's monitor after all. Or maybe we can. We could raise this ever so slightly. Yes. I could also bootstrap the light bridge, if I wanted to, but... I think I want to burn Wheatley's monitor first. Let's see, let me get the aim on this. There we go. Ugh, I was worried that would happen. Man, that's- that screen shake is intense. They're not even your streets to break! It's vandalism! It's pure vandalism! You wouldn't do that if this was your house, would you? If you were in- if I came around your house, smashing your telly to bits, you'd be furious, and rightly so! Unbelievable! <laughs> I don't remember which dialogue that is. That might be, like, the, one of the last ones, perhaps. <laughs> ah, yes. Right. Back to what we were doing. Let us consider bootstrapping the light bridge. We can also... Hmm. Maybe 
bootstrap the light bridge will be trapped inside. Oh, this also... This does other things that I was not considering. This turns off both fizzlers. Well, isn't that interesting? Yeah, that does a lot of good for us. That looks like a place where we either want to funnel up or fling down. How's that for some eye candy? That looks nice. Hmm. And this is where we would want to use... I can't have the cube up here, though. And I can't get in here myself. But we do know what the final moves are, at the very least. Hold on a second! How long have I been able to do this? Yeah. Of course, this means that we don't have a portal in there, but... it's still something we can do. When I said both fizzlers, I really meant the other fizzlers that I didn't see before. <laughs> yes, I'm not exactly thinking clearly, it seems. So let's put a light bridge back here again. And let's see what we can do with the bootstrapped light bridge. Not much, I would think. Uh... Uh, <laughs> oh man, wow, I- I tried to walk onto the light bridge, the- I couldn't because the step height was too high, and then I fell between the light bridge and the platform, and my delayed reaction of trying to walk back onto the platform resulted in me getting crushed. Ha! <laughs> what? Uh... Excuse me? Good sir. I do believe that this light bridge is supposed to be turned on right now. And it's not. Um... Maybe the quicksave forked. This is... What is it with Wheatley maps and quicksaves not working properly? There we go. Something screwy with quick saves in Wheatley. Right. So we've bootstrapped the light bridge. Why did I do that? Why did I want to do that? What possible reason could I have had for doing that? No way to have the cube on that button... ...and have it direct the laser at the same time. And there's also... ...that... ...portal surface, which I'm not really sure why I would use yet. Holy crap! There's no wall here! I thought there was- I thought this was all glass! I thought this glass pane extended to right there! Ah. Uh, <laughs> Okay, then. Well, that changes things significantly. <laughs> wow, I totally... ...thought that I was sealed in here. Yeah, take that. <laughs> oh man, I just know somebody's gonna timestamp that and... ...think it's a reference to the band. Right, well, we've done this now. Does anybody know why I wanted to do that? Yeah, you can totally see. I thought that was glass! <laughs> I'm not a bird, okay? I can see past glass, but sometimes it just blends in really well.
Well, I mean... I'm not a bird, I can see glass. But sometimes it just, you know... <laughs> you know what I meant to say. You know what I'm trying to say, I hope. Right, so why did I do this? Now we can hop out of that portal and drop down to get some momentum. But But how do we make use of that? And do I want to unstrap the light bridges or something? Because I could just get that light bridge to there quite easily. Yeah, I put it there. So why do I want that light bridge for? Why do I want the... the temporary light bridge? I'm not quite sure what I'm doing, to be honest. I do like, though, that... the light bridge can get over this button. That is nice. Although you might've... could've potentially moved the button over. Uh, maybe... well, yeah, you could've. Clearly, this is... what else would I have done? I'm pretty sure you... That just looks strange, okay, is what I'm trying to say? I'm trying to say it looks strange. Like, I can portal into there all day long. But... Oh! That's what this is for. Ah, got it. Crap, my portals are the wrong way, but who cares? Yeah, I can't do anything to fix my portals at this point. This is just how things have to be, it seems. Cause now I'm gonna have my my output portal be acting as my input portal, and that's gonna confuse me. But whatever. Whatever. Right, so... I can fling up pretty much anywhere I want. Let's go ahead and save... and continue. Whee! Right, so now I'm in here... Now what do I want to do? When would I use that? Wait, I can use- I can do that and that to get in here without ever needing to turn off this fizzler. So then what's this fizzler for? I'm unclear on the concept, it would seem. Oh, and this is designed exactly right. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Ah, that's not quite what I wanted to have happen. Uh, mm, yes, I do believe. 
I do believe I've done messed up. Let's see if the save glitch happens again. Yeah! What is it with every game I'm playing to- like... Duskers has a save glitch? Portal 2 has a save glitch? What is going on? <laughs> I am cursed. Well, gee, thanks. <laughs> oh, wow. Lesson learned, don't jump into that portal. Right, so I have some ideas of what I can do. Let me re just respawn the cube, why don't I do that? That'll make things a lot easier, right? Potentially. If I don't throw the cube like a lazy person. Right, so now that's done that. And I can use that to inch my way back. Uh huh. Crap. <laughs> I missed my opportunity there. I need to pay attention to which way the button's aligned. Right. This button is aligned... there, so I want to place my portal there. Got it. Understood. Uh, excuse me. Not- Okay, I was about to say, is that immune to long-range use? I'm just being lazy at this point. <laughs> right side, right side, right side. There we go. All better. This is probably worth saving over. So I could place a portal behind there, and now we get the cube over to me. Oh wait, and then I'm just done! Okay, I solved this whole puzzle! I was not expecting it to be that easy, to be honest. I was like, frozen there, I was like, wait, did I really do this? There's gotta be more, right? I thought... Did I just figure it out on one oh, go? You solved it. Good. Good one. Good for you. Okay then. <laughs> cool map, Raptor Rocks. I did not expect to solve it that easily. Alright, well guys, as always, thank you so much for watching, I really appreciate- Was there a smiley face down there? Anyway, I will see you all in another video. Goodbye!